Hi everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Adrian and today I decided that for this video topic we're going to go ahead and be tackling uh, morning fatigue. And I know that morning fatigue is just something that a lot of people have to deal with in the morning. And I'm going to be honest with you, it really sucks. Like I hate having to wake up in the morning and all I feel is just, oh, I don't want to be here. You know, I just want to like lay back down and just fall asleep. You know what I mean? Um, but the thing is, is that I mean, we're going to have to start our day anyway, so why not try and see what we can do to go ahead and start it off right? So here are my five top tips uh, to try and help you possibly have a better morning routine so you can feel more well rested and just happier overall. Now, guys, these are my personal opinions. Please put them down in the comments below if you guys have any other suggestions. Like I said, I have a morning routine, so if I see anything that you guys might suggest, it's something that I feel like would benefit me. I would absolutely love to add it into my morning schedule, so. All right, so my number one tip would have to be, I'm gonna move aside for this picture right here. My number one tip would have to be, do not hit the snooze button. Um, for me, the snooze button, I used to love, when I, okay, when I was younger, I remember that I used to love just hitting the snooze button. I used to sometimes hit it like five times. You know what I mean? If I had to get up like at six, I'd have an alarm specifically like at five o'clock sometimes. That was weird. I had it like at five and I would just repeatedly press it because I kept thinking like, I'm somewhat waking up, but at the same time I'm getting my sleep. It's It was weird. But really when I did get up, it I just ended up feeling like crap. And in Matthew Walker's Why We Sleep, he goes a lot more in depth in why you shouldn't hit the snooze button. Matthew Walker even states that hitting the snooze button constantly in the morning is kind of like doing cardiovascular assault on your system, that you're damaging your body, and not only that, but you're damaging your nerve system. And not just that, if anything, you're just kind of wasting your time because sleep is put into four stages. Uh, you have non-REM sleep one, non-REM sleep two, three, and then you have REM sleep. Now, these four stages, in order to get to REM sleep, REM sleep right here is the one that you really want to get to because REM sleep is where dreams happen. It's where our actual sleep ends up happening. So all these other stages of sleep are just trying to get over to REM sleep. So you really want to make sure that you get there. It takes about 30 minutes to get into REM sleep or more. So if you're constantly hitting the snooze button, like maybe what, every five or 10 minutes, you're not gonna get into REM sleep. You're not gonna feel any more well rested. If anything, you're still gonna feel the same grogginess as you as you would if you just got up. Unfortunately, but fortunately, it's time for our day to start and we just gotta get out of bed. So that's my tip. Just, just throw yourself out of bed. Even if you have to roll yourself out of bed, go ahead and do it. And for my number two, as soon as you roll out of that bed, make sure that you at least open up a window or at least step outside. A breath of fresh air is actually one of the best things that you could do in the morning. I mean, look, let's say that you were inside your room, your windows were closed and you were getting ready for bed. Maybe the room was closed for about like 10 hours. You know what I mean? So you're going to have 10 hours worth of enclosed air. All of this, I'm just smelling the same stuff. So it's good for you to at least sometimes open up the windows so that you can go ahead and smell what's out there. I mean, even if the weather is cold or the weather is hot, it is good for you to at least try and get some new air. But not only that, but kentteach.com states that it could help with your immune system, digestive system, and it could also clean out your lungs. So getting all of that fresh air is gonna be a really great thing for you in the morning. I personally, what I personally like to do is that I like to go outside and actually just kind of take a moment to be, just go ahead and just take in that air. But if you're not the kind of person that wants to get up in the morning and immediately step outside, at least open up a window, you know what I mean? And then slowly but surely, the air will start to, from the outside will start to get in and you'll get it that way. So my number three for this video would have to be stretching. In the mornings, I typically at least dedicate at least five minutes a day to stretching. And the reason why I do this is because I don't want to have to like bend over or even move my arm somewhere and then suddenly it's like, oh my God, my arm, you know what I mean? Because I got muscle cramps or something. I want to make sure that I'm really, that I'm really flexible with, with everything. So if I'm going to go ahead and pick something up, I don't, I don't pick it up and just be like, oh man, my hands, you know what I mean? Like it's all cramped up. I don't want that. 
So that's why I do five minutes of stretching. But just in case you don't believe me, I did some of the research. So let's go ahead and go into that. Healthline.com also states that stretching can help with flexibility. It can help with posture and it could be a great stress reliever. So instead of having to feel like that when you're grabbing something, grab it like that. And then you'll end up feeling so much better than you would before if you didn't stretch. So that is my number three. Make sure to stretch, please. Now for my number four, I would have to say at least drink some water. Uh, I noticed that it at least wakes up my body a lot faster than caffeine because there's some. there was some mornings that I wouldn't have even drank water and I would just drink coffee and then I'd be on my way wherever I was gonna go. And I noticed with water, it makes me feel a lot better. And just in case again, research, medicalnewstoday.com clearly states that aside from water making you feel better it makes your skin feel better it loosens your joints it makes your digestive system work properly because if you're having soda or i don't know let's say just caffeine it's not really going to clean out your body as well as it would with water another tip that i guess i could go ahead and add in there is that make sure that you at least drink what well, at least have one fruit maybe a banana maybe uh an apple you could even have for breakfast maybe something that's not as processed that came out of a can or something i, I don't know maybe some people do that that's okay but i personally don't like to do that because i know that it i know that it drags me down as as i go throughout my day not to mention that our bodies are set are comprised of 70% of water. E even in hot times like this, we need water. So it's gonna end up making us feel better. We avoid dehydration, which improves uh, brain function and can help you with focusing throughout your day so that you're not having brain fog in the middle of a test or something or in the middle of your work day. You can help avoid brain fog by just drinking some water. Not just one in the morning, but one, but several throughout the day. So. That is what I suggest. And then for my number five, this one is my last one, but it's also a very crucial one. This one is just my personal opinion, but what I like to do is that I at least like to fix my bed. The reason why I like doing this is because you might go out there and you have a bad day, but at least you can come home to a nice fixed bed. And you fixing your bed in the morning is at least your first win of the day. And at least some, at least, one thing you might have a bad day but at least one thing went right you fix your bed and i know it might sound small but it's the little changes that make the big difference it could mean the difference between you coming home and just staying mad or you coming home and at least i fixed my bed and now i'm neutral i'm calmer because at least that went right so go ahead and give yourself that win and just fix your bed in the morning just in case you're the kind of person that doesn't fix their bed in the morning that's okay, but I do suggest that you do do it so that when you do get home from whatever it is, you feel good. Now everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Those were my five top tips for battling morning fatigue. I know that the bed thing may not be something that you're ingesting to your body, but it is more something for your emotion. So yes, I feel like that would help combat fatigue. So remember guys, these are just my opinions, but just in case you guys have any opinions of your own, please comment down below so that we can go ahead and get a discussion going. Uh, if I see a comment that I like, I might even follow it for myself. That is what this is, self-development. Let's go ahead and make our lives happier and make them more simple. Let's give us that win. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.